Welcome to the channel everyone, I'm Joe. I try to take you on the best underwater adventures and I wanna show you how you can do the same thing. One of the things we do a lot on this channel is we go snorkeling and we dive down under the water and we take a look around. And one of the most important pieces of gear to help me do that is a good weight belt. So in this video, I wanna show you why you might wanna wear a weight belt while snorkeling and how to do it safely. Wearing a weight belt while snorkeling is for more advanced snorkelers. So if you are new to snorkeling or you're not a very strong swimmer, do not try to use a weight belt out in the water. If you are new to snorkeling, please watch my other video on beginner snorkeling and please consider using a snorkel safety vest when you go out in the water. And please consider taking a beginner snorkeling class. During this video, I will be showing you this weight belt system from Brightweights. This is the most customizable weight belt system I have ever used. And if you're thinking about buying a new weight belt, you should definitely check out Brightweights. Why wear a weight belt while you're snorkeling? As you become more comfortable with snorkeling, you're gonna to wanna to dive down deeper and take a look at the fish and the reef life down there, and maybe even take pictures and video. Often the most beautiful marine life is a few feet below the surface, and without a weight belt, you would struggle to get down and stay down there for more than a few seconds. Wearing a weight belt will help you control your buoyancy when diving below the surface of the water. Now to do this safely, you need to understand what buoyancy is and what factors can affect buoyancy. Buoyancy is the ability to float in the water. Being positively buoyant means that you're going to float up, being negatively buoyant means that you're going to sink down, and being neutrally buoyant means that you're going to stay in place without going up or down. Several factors will change how naturally buoyant you are in the water. Some of these factors are salinity, is the water fresh or salt water? Will you be wearing a wetsuit and your body composition? Factor one, water salinity. If you're gonna be snorkeling in salt water like the ocean, that means you're gonna be more positively buoyant. For example, when I snorkel in the ocean, I add two to four more pounds onto my belt to help overcome the buoyancy of the salt water. That's what's really nice about using this weight belt from Bright Weights. It allows you to add weight in one pound increments and it allows you to place the weight exactly where you need it to be on the belt without having to slide around the other weights like you would with an old style traditional weight belt. Factor number two, will you be wearing a wetsuit? If the water you're snorkeling in will be cold, you will most likely need to wear a wetsuit to keep you warm. Now, wetsuits are made out of a material called neoprene. This material is filled with millions of tiny little air bubbles. The air bubbles in the material help insulate you from the water and keep you warm. However, these tiny little air bubbles in the material will add buoyancy to your body. So when you're wearing a wetsuit, you're going to be more positively buoyant. So for example, when I wear my wetsuit out in the water, I usually add an additional four to six pounds to help overcome the buoyancy of the wetsuit. Factor number three, body composition. Fat tissue is less dense than muscle tissue. So depending on how much fat compared to muscle you have on your body, that will change your buoyancy. Also, your bone density will affect it as well. Every person is going to be different. and Every person is gonna require a different amount of weight to begin with. Determining how much weight to use. Not enough weight will make going down a struggle and too much weight will make returning to the surface a struggle and is a drowning hazard. You do not want to be overweighted. That is very dangerous. So let me show you how I determine how much weight to put on before I go out. Find a shallow place in the water where you can test your buoyancy and safely adjust the amount of weight on your belt. Start light and gradually add weight to your belt. Now do this test. Float at the surface of the water in the proper snorkeling position laid out horizontally. You should be able to do this easily. You should not sink out. You should stay right there at the surface. If you start to sink or you have to tread water to stay up, you have on too much weight, go ahead and take some off. The next test you're gonna do while you're in the snorkeling position is you're gonna fully exhale the air out of your lungs for a few seconds and see if you still float. If you're properly weighted, when you exhale the air out of your lungs, you're gonna drop down just a little bit, but your body is still just barely gonna remain at the surface of the water. This is very important because if you were to black out, you would have more of a chance to be rescued by your buddy if your body was to remain at the surface of the water instead of sinking down to the bottom. Remember, always go snorkeling with a buddy. Once you've passed the exhale test at the surface of the water and you're still able to just barely float on empty lungs, you're gonna go ahead and do some test dives down a few feet below the water. 
If you get down a few feet below the surface of the water and you float back up too quickly, that means you don't have enough weight and you wanna go ahead and add a little bit of weight. What you're looking to do is dive down a few feet below the surface of the water and it should be very easy for you to stay down there and if you stop kicking, you should just barely rise back up to the surface. If you rise back up very slowly, that means you are weighted perfectly. Positioning your belt. I position my weight belt around my belly button height and I snug it just enough so that it's not moving around on me, but you don't wanna make it too tight because you wanna be able to inhale fully without being restricted by your belt. You will wanna use a belt with a quick release latch like this Brightweight belt has, and you wanna have the latch positioned in front of you at all times, so you're able to use one hand and quickly release the latch and dump the weight belt. If you did have an emergency or you did start struggling in the water, you need to be able to quickly dump your weight belt and do it with one hand only. Once you've determined how much weight you're going to be using, you wanna make sure that the weight is evenly distributed across the belt. If the weight's not evenly balanced across the belt while you're out swimming in the water, the belt could shift and twist and then your emergency release latch is no longer where it needs to be. That's what I really like about this bright weight belt system is you can precisely place the weights exactly where you want them to be. You can balance the load across the belt and it's really, really convenient and easy to adjust. If it's your first time using the weight belt, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to trim the end of the weight belt so it's not too long. If you have too much of the weight belt sticking out, it could get in your way and cause a hazard while you're in the water. So go ahead and take a good pair of scissors, trim a few inches off past the emergency release latch, and then make sure you take a lighter and burn the end of the belt. Burning the end of the belt with a lighter is going to seal off the end of the belt and prevent the belt from fraying. A few more important safety considerations. Weight belts like this are used in free diving and scuba diving as well, but for this video, we're specifically talking about using a weight belt while snorkeling. Those other activities are more risky and they do require formal training, which I am not certified to teach. Don't dive too deep while snorkeling. Stay within your abilities and your training. If you start to dive too deep or you're holding your breath for a really long time, you are now venturing into the sport of free diving and if you do that, you need to be properly trained so that you're aware of the risks and how to deal with them. Always go snorkeling with a buddy. It is much safer and it's much more fun to share the experience of snorkeling with someone. Make sure you go check out Bright Weights. It's the best weight belt system I've used and they come in lots of really cool colors. I think you're gonna like them, so check the links below for Bright Weights. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great underwater content. I really appreciate you guys watching the video and I hope you guys have some great time snorkeling. Thanks again. Now get out in the water and explore.